Hey everyone, Harry here to talk about Rudy Giuliani. It's been a minute since he's appeared in this uh, drama, and now we have a flurry of things about him, starting with Bob Costello's really um, uh, misstep of testimony at the end, and the really the only substantive witness of the defense case where it's clear that Rudy was being the uh, sort of uh, ringleader of a scheme to keep uh, Cohen from cooperating, keep him close to the reservation and tell uh, Bob Costello to tell Cohen things like, you have friends in high places, etc. Now, uh, today he surfaces t- two more times. First, he has continually refused and been, you know, he, he, he's just a guy who's become an outlaw and um, and completely ignoring and being contemptuous of court orders. So that's been most clear in the Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss case. Remember uh, the Georgia election workers whom he brazenly accused of of complete election fraud and turned out to be 100% false. He um, uh, has been found uh, guilty of defamation. He refused all attempts to try to uh, court ordered attempts uh, at discovery um, to uh, figure out his holdings and the like so they could go after them. Now he has agreed to a permanent injunction that he will not defame them further. And um, that has been agreed on and should be entered probably today by Judge Beryl Howe in Washington. Um, and what it means is, um, because why should he now comply, but it provides Moss and Freeman an avenue for suing him expeditiously and getting a quick recovery were he to defame them. So it just, um, you know, makes it, it's a disincentive only in the, the sense that, uh, he could more quickly face justice and accountability. Separately, he yesterday pleaded not guilty, uh, in Arizona, which recall a few weeks ago brought charges against their electors. And Giuliani there is a defendant, uh, who, um, uh, acted much as he did in Georgia, where he's also a uh, defendant, to uh, basically browbeat and deceive and uh, or deceive, lie to Arizona election workers and just try to conspire with them, the Republicans, to uh, file a false set of uh, certificates that said that they were the duly certified um, electors, which they were not since they were for Donald Trump, the loser of the election. Um, but Giuliani's been a total jackass about this. They were having trouble. He seemed to be trying to duck service all the while he was, I mean, he's, he's sort of letting his Steve Bannon flag fly or whatever. He's become a sort of mocking outlaw. He said, you know, they're so incompetent that they can't even serve him. Uh, and then they finally reached him Friday night and served him. He appeared by, uh, Skype, um, uh, at the, um, the uh, hearing where where he was arraigned and pleaded not guilty and had to post a small bond. Uh, and, you know, he now is in the jurisdiction of the court and will have to continue to show up or, or risk arrest. The prosecutor in that case told the judge, look, he's really tried to elude Arizona authorities. Giuliani, for his part, uh, you know, after making uh, mocking speeches on his um, podcast and generally um, d- delivered a, uh, a a complete filibuster of a, of a speech in the at the arraignment, saying he considers this case to be an an embarrassment to American law and just completely defiant uh, of the you know, the role he played here and elsewhere, which if um, uh, the past is prologue, <clears throat> when, it, when it finally comes time to defend himself, he'll have nothing to say because he's plainly uh, guilty. But in the meantime, the uh, just turned 80 uh, Giuliani is, is, you know, acting uh, some combination. He's channeling his inner, not just Trump, but Bannon totally mocking 
uh, the system violating all, um, you know, court orders until it's at the very, very end and then some. So uh, the, the picture of Giuliani as the uh, sort of part of the mob uh, dynamic trying to scuttle um, Cohen's uh, from cooperating, Giuliani now permanently enjoined, meaning uh, subject to much quicker process if he continues to defame Moss and Freeman, and Giuliani pleading not guilty, but not without a sarcastic, bombastic, um, jerky um, uh, little speech to the, in the Arizona court. So Rudy's back in town, and uh, and stay tuned, especially in. Arizona, but there and Fulton County, he's got he's got to face the music. And we talk sometimes about Trump's ability to pardon or, or wriggle out of things for himself. But it's uh, that that might be one thing for Trump in New York or Georgia or if he's um, uh, convicted. But one thing we do know is he, he'll have no power to pardon um, Giuliani for crimes in Arizona or Fulton County. So, you know, who knows what his strategy is? And there's a lot of sort of murmurs in the Giuliani camp, sincere, earnest ones that he's, you know, not playing with a full deck any longer. But but whatever, he's, uh, you know, forestalls his uh, confrontation with the with the law. But when it comes, I think it's going to be a brick wall. And assuming he's, you know, still in good health and alive, he's. He's looking at sooner or later a, um, a long stay in one state penitentiary or another. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.